50. 17th of April. My name is Jason Fur. Today I have a special sort of video, something a little bit different, but I have acquired two rather big oak beams. So I was actually given these for free um, by a family member. My cousin was doing a house up and he replaced these oak beams with steel. How stupid was he? So I'm hoping with this one that you can come up with an idea of what I can make out of it. Um, my imagination isn't very vast <laughs> whatsoever. However, out of this one, I am going to be making a curved bench. Professionally, I'm not a bench joiner. So professionally, I'm not a bench joiner. I'm a site joiner. I do houses up and stuff like that. So this is going to be very, very new to me. Ugh. Let's see how it goes. So we've got a slight issue. Now the way I want the bench to be is I want to cut it through this section here. So that's the way you bet you sit on. Um, however, there is a massive nail going straight through it. Take a look at the size of that. So that, so that's my issue with what I'm having at the minute. All I'm hoping is it goes through to the other side and I can hit it out. That is a massive, massive nail. So I've managed to get all the nails out. Uh, that took way too long. <laughs> I didn't realize how hard that was gonna be. Look at that. That is just weathered. <laughs> it's rusted over time. That is time in there. It's time. market for a chainsaw don't get the Titan get the Ryobi oh! so this is the side I'm using for the bench the underside oh, that's what we cut um, with the chainsaw as you can see it's very very rough so I need to get all of that extremely, extremely flat. This is gonna be fun. And now looking at it, I don't think it's oak. <laughs> From the outside view, it looks like oak, but this I don't know if this is oak. But if you do think it's oak, then please let me know. So what I've got to try and do now, is I've got to try and plane out all those massive humps in it and make it as flat as I can. Um, just before I put it through the thickness, so which will get it to that final, uh, that final th uh, thickness, and then I can put a bit of a, a bit of a hand plane, like a little bit, just to smooth it out. Um, but yeah. Dead smooth. Still got these burn marks in it from the plane. Those planer blades, I don't know how old they are, but um, I actually need to give it a plane now, a hand plane, just get those marks out of it. And it should be, it should be all singing, all dancing. Yeah. Okay, cool. Where are my keys?
So the next job is to cut it all into lines. Just, just bear with me, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. So the bench is in pieces now, as you can see, I cut it all into little pieces. Now this is what you've got to do if you want to make a curved bench, you've got to cut them all into pieces. Because the grain is running horizontally and I'm going to be clamping, so it's going to be bending like this, it's going to be bending that in that direction, the grain should follow. Now if the grain was running this way, I think it would be a lot harder for it to bend and I think judging by common I say common knowledge but I think it'd snap if the grain was running that way so I think we're in a chance we're in a, we're in with a chance to make this bend now I've just got to set that up so to make this thing bend so I'm putting blocks onto my workbench and these blocks are going to represent the curve so I'm going to do it from here all the way round to wherever. So I'm setting the blocks out like so along the curve to represent an arch. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to glue every single one of these joints up and hopefully we should have a very good product at the end of this. Okay, that is the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I definitely did. It was very, very fun, actually. Um, I was surprised how late it is. It's three o'clock. That that isn't late, but I thought it was earlier, a lot earlier. I want to try and do. I don't know. I want to try and make at least a hundred videos this year. I think I think that's a good. I think that's a good a good a good number to aim for. I mean, this is going to be the third one. And this is in a week's time and if I've done three in a week that's pretty good right imagine what it'll be like when I actually start working I think it'd be a lot harder to do because of all the business side of things but hey should be pretty cool anyway nice one see you later